afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Sanjay. Uh, it's great to be here at the World HRD con uh, Congress, uh, and it's the 25th year, so congratulations, uh, Dr. Bhatia. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, a very interesting topic. Uh, it's quite seminal these days. It's called the future of work. I think many people in the HR environment, business leaders, are quite aware that everybody from the World Economic Forum uh, to McKinsey to ENY, FIKI, etc., are talking, talking about the implications of the future of work. Uh, it really starts from multiple disruptions that are have, have taking place globally today. Uh, and based on those multiple disruptions, you know, what are the implications for all of us as HR leaders, as business leaders, in terms of what's going to be the future of work, the roles, the jobs, etc., and, and the approaches that a lot of us can take to address uh, some of that. So, you know, like I talked about, there are multiple disruptions that have been ongoing for many, many years. There are some that are gaining pace now. We've talked about industrial revolutions. You know, we're we in the fourth industrial revolution currently. And I think the most important thing uh, that you see in the fourth uh, industrial revolution is the pace of change. It's exponential. It's no longer linear, right? And there are multiple things uh, driving that pace of change. Uh, everything from artificial intelligence, both Internet of Things, etc. Uh, a couple of key pointers to take away from here. Uh, you know, the World Economic Forum uh, put out a paper in 2016 on the future of work. Uh, what's fascinating is the point on 65%. All, high, all students who are joining school today, 65% of students are joining school in 2016, will be doing jobs that do not exist when they're out of school, right? Uh, imagine the conundrum that places on not just uh, educators, employers, uh, 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 and all of us to ensure that, that the job market remains robust uh, and they have something to go to. You know, there are many, many disruptions having uh, taken place technologically on a, on a global scale. Uh, I'd like to highlight on a few of those, actually. Uh, AlphaGo is, is a program by Google. Uh, it actually fought a battle. Go is a st strategy game. The world strategy champion, Lee Sedol. Uh, AlphaGo, based on his artificial intelligence, actually defeated Lee Sedol. Right? Uh, that talks about the power of cognitive machines, what they're doing. Uh, the same program is used for uh, medical diagnosis now. Uh, you look at the robotic workforce. You know, Ten years back, when people talked about robotics, you know, they did menial things. Many, many job profiles today uh, that are uh, process-oriented in nature, that are consistent at the factory shop floor, etc., are, are being taken over by robotics. There's obviously a culmination of both robotics and the human in intervention when there are skill-based uh, elements that are there. But, but that's truly an area to watch out for. You know, everybody's been talking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, cars. Uh, driverless cars, etc., that are gaining momentum by Google, Tesla, etc. You know, those will render many, many people uh, who are in the driving, in, who, are, who are chauffeurs, drivers, etc., jobless, etc. So when you look at the job elements, you're looking at disruptions across, from skill-based jobs to unskilled jobs to high-skilled jobs. I'll talk about that in the next uh, couple of slides. Uh, artificial intelligence is gaining significant momentum. With that momentum, we are seeing further disruptions that will keep coming uh, in the job environment for all of us. So I want to spend some time talking about uh, the job pyramid and the different types of job roles and what technology and disruption is really doing across the value pyramid. You've got the skill-based jobs uh, where we believe automation and AI, etc., will have a medium implication on. You've got the analysis-based job where you've got the lowest impact from AI, et cetera, because that, that's more about cognitive ability, people doing uh, data analysis, interpreting the data, et cetera. And you've got the rule-based jobs. You know, I think the rule-based jobs where uh, IT processes, software testing, and those kind of things are, are, are going to be in the next 10 years pretty much done all robotically, automatically, et cetera, because there's that kind of artificial intelligence being built in the environment today that a lot of those jobs will actually disappear. You know, that doesn't mean that jobs are not going to be around. The key challenge is a lot of these disruptions are, are taking away jobs at a much faster clip than they're creating new ones. And, and that really causes, uh, you know, uh, 
cause for concern for all of us to think about how do we reskill people, how do we retool them uh, to be relevant uh, for the future. 